Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the center of a circle. This method works not just for complete circles, it works for any curve as long as it is a circular curve. It can't be elliptical, it can't be parabolic, it has to be circular. But it's a pretty nifty method. Um, if you're using uh, computer software, you probably won't really need to use this method because the circle will be constructed and you'll be able to find it really easy like if you're using AutoCAD or something. But if you're using pencil and paper and you need to find this, the center of a circle that you didn't make, where's the center? It's going to be somewhere around in here, but there is an exact method to find it. Okay, the first thing you do is realize that um, when you draw, let me see if I can get my little pen out here, when you draw a radius from the center, it's going to be about from right here out to here. The radius, once when it touches the circle, is going to be perpendicular to the tangent line that it makes. It's also going to be perpendicular to a what's called a chord. A really crappy drawer with my little pen here, but this is going to be a perpendicular line as well. If you make a chord on a circle and you draw a straight line between it, all you gotta do is make a point here, right here, and another point here, and connect the line. This is this is what's called a chord of a circle, C-H-O-R-D. The next step would be to find the perpendicular bisector of it, because the radius is going to be a perpendicular bisector of the chord. So to do that, tricky method, you need a compass you draw a circle from one point to the other point, and that's its radius, and you do another circle from the other point. The intersection of those two circles, there's two points there, you connect the points and you draw a line. What you have here with this line is a diameter, a line that crosses through the diameter. This line crosses exactly through the radius, but you don't know where the radius is yet. It's somewhere on this line. So all you need to do is do the same thing again, and this is 90, 90 degrees here, you do the exact same thing again with another chord, another point over here, another point over here, connect the lines, draw one circle from one point to the other, and vice versa with the other point, draw points where they intersect, connect the lines. These two uh, bisectors intersect at the middle where they intersect, that's the center of the circle. And it doesn't matter where these lines are. You can have these points over here and right here. The perpendicular bisectors of the chords will intersect at the center of the circle. And then you can measure the distance between the center of the circle to the intersection, so you can actually measure the radius. And that's all you need to know.